Hey guys, Spud here, and right off the bat, I want you guys to try and think of the most difficult and or the most intimidating part of DCS World to dig into. And you may be thinking, oh Spud, that's easy. It's definitely toss bombing laser guided bombs, or BVR tactics, or even flying a case 3 approach down to minimums at the boat. But one thing you may have not considered is skin and livery creation. I know a lot of DCS World players out there would love to create and customize their aircraft's paint job. However, creating a slick and cool or beautiful livery not only takes a lot of Adobe Photoshop or GIMP skills, but also a lot of creativity and artistry, and on top of that, a ton of patience to turn a flat template into a 3D masterpiece. So today we get to sit down with luck the owner and operator of Fox 3 Managed Solutions, the guys behind the fantastic servers that I run my missions on, to take a look at their new livery generator and their efforts to democratize skin making and show you guys how you can generate a skin for our FA-18C in less than five minutes. And today we have a really special treat because we are uh, taking a look at the new skin in the game FX livery generator from Fox 3 Managed Solutions. So Luck is here with me on Discord. I'm currently sharing my screen so we could give us some insights. Go ahead and say hi, Luck. Hello, everyone. How are you? Let's uh, first talk about what is Skin in the Game FX Livery Generator. So, you know, it was uh, it was easier to for us to ask people. You know, in the beginning, I was asking people for skins all the time, and I had someone make me a few Fox 3 skins and it was, you know, some of them would be good, some of them would be okay, some of them would take, you know, weeks. And finally I started thinking to myself, wouldn't it be nice if we can just upload some nose art, some tail art, put on, pick a color and slap it all together in a program. And so that was kind of, that was two years ago and I started thinking through that and uh, I did some research about how I could get that done. We initially started thinking about how to write plugins for, for GIMP and um you know that didn't really work out very well it, it would have worked but someone would have had to been firing the buttons off again from the background but so uh it turned out that my son said hey can i take a stab at it and he wrote the code the initial code and um, we started putting together a system and then uh it kind of all came together and we had to you know it was like we had to build everything we, we built the tool that, that did the skin then we had to build the templates for the skins and then we had to build the infrastructure and the security and and, and all that stuff. So it, it turned into a, a large project. So all in all, I think nine people have been involved with the project. And we have active right now. We have uh, four developers, uh, seven artists, two marketing people, and myself. And I do a little bit of uh, development, uh, infrastructure. Obviously, I do the server stuff and, and the security. So there's a lot of a lot of moving parts here. And uh, it's been a heck of a, of a team effort. So I have to thank my team for that. Gotcha. And so just to be clear, it, it, is, it essentially will allow you to set certain parameters, upload your own uh, decals, and then it will generate a skin for you that you can then download, correct? That's correct. Awesome. So take, take me through this here and let's uh, take a look at how do we can create a skin and uh, what you guys can expect on... Uh, you know, release of this new generator. Yeah, and you can see it's it's set up for phones. So so this you could actually do this over your phone, which is kind of interesting. And then you'll get the email later. And you can download it to your PC. But essentially, okay. uh, you're going to start off with your 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 username, so your customer name. So whatever you want here, this is okay. going to be part of the zip file that gets created. Um, All right. Then you got your email, and uh, the email address is is just so you can get your link to the finished file and download it. Okay. Awesome. And uh, next you're going to pick your pilot name. So the pilot name is what you want on your canopy. You can put anything you want, nickname, rank, whatever you want. There's a limited number of characters. Uh, okay. And, and then you can choose whether you want the text in white or black. Okay. Um, and I guess it makes sense here that if you want black canopy text for lighter skins, like I guess uh, like US Gull Gray, and then uh, white canopy text for a darker skin, like maybe an aggressor camouflage kind of situation. Exactly. Which makes sense. Um, and then let's talk about the templates here because this is really interesting because this is kind of the meat of how it all works. So I guess we hit right. select skin here yep. and we're brought to this screen. So tell us about these templates here. 
So yeah, so right now there's only F-18s. Um, we just got the, FX, the F-16 templates uh, about 80% done and we're gonna go through them next. But uh, we've built all these templates from scratch. They look like common uh, skins that are in the game already. And we tried to use uh, looks and feels of skins that are out there. We added a few that aren't. And uh, we're gonna add a, a bunch of other ones too. So this, this initial 20 uh, will turn into about 50 per aircraft. And um, okay. you know our skins are special because they have to be um, they have to work with our software. So each one has been built from scratch, and uh, they have several layers. And and we have um, in those layers we have the nose art, the tail art, the uh, pilot name, and then the wear levels. And so these are the ones okay. we have so far. We're going to be adding more over the next coming weeks and months. So awesome. So it's definitely not going to just be these. These are the uh, available templates at release for the uh, uh, livery generator. But the idea is to definitely fill these out more. That's right. Um, for the test one that we did yesterday together, we used this green template. And I haven't seen this guy yet before. So I think we'll go with this one. And I really like this one because this is one that is not reminiscent of any of the skins that are in the base game available for the F-18. So might as well go with this guy here. And we can see that that template, of course, has a name to it. So in the future, when there are, you know, 50 templates out there, you'll be able to find you the template that you like best by by name rather than just scrolling through all of them. Right. Correct. OK. Um, and then where level. This is a thing that uh, I found really interesting because of what you guys did on the back end to make these work. If I remember correctly, We've got essentially three different layers that's in that, you know, back end Photoshop template. And this option here is basically saying which one you want to have visible with new being no wear temp, no wear layer visible at all to very worn being essentially all three of those layers. That's right. So very worn, it's like an old National Guard plane that's that's been out there and hung up, you know, used hard and hung up with. So Yeah, for <laughs> sure. OK, awesome. And then down here, we have two uh, options here to load our custom artwork. We've already got a couple of decals set up at the proper aspect ratio to look as nice as possible here. We have a option to upload a file for the nose art and one for the tail art, of course. So we'll add a nose art decal that has some text to it. So that way we can also talk about should the image be mirrored on either side option down here. So can you walk us through whether or not a um, image should be mirrored or not? Yeah, so if it's not mirrored, it's going to be basically pointing toward the nose. So uh, it won't be left oriented. It might be right oriented on the other side. So if you have letters, you'd want to check check that so it, those letters appear to be uh, correct. Gotcha. Well, we definitely want to have those uh, correct and uh, easily legible. So we'll definitely have that checked. And then for tail art here, why don't we go with our red Jolly Roger? I think that'll look pretty good. And because this uh, decal here is basically symmetrical on either side, it doesn't matter if we were to check this box or not. That's correct. Fantastic. And that is basically all you have to do now. We just hit submit, correct? Yep. Fantastic. Success. Uh, thank you for your purchase. Your skin will delivery has been submitted. It should take less than five minutes to complete. Watch for an email from admin at fox3ms. And of course, make sure to check your spam folder as well. I've definitely had many emails come in from admin at Fox3MS that ended up in my spam folder. So make sure that you kind of whitelist that uh, email address to make sure that you don't miss your skin that you just got or created. That's right. Uh, um, and of course, there's a link to their Discord server here where you can bug luck with any of your questions or concerns. <laughs> <laughs> um, so we'll open up the e our email here. And there already, that was really quick, came our link to download our skin. Mm -hmm. Keep in mind here that if you are doing a like a big batch order, there is an expiration date to the link. So if you're doing a whole bunch of skins for your uh, squadron to get everybody's name on canopy rail, things like that, make sure you do get in there and download all of them before those links do expire. Right. And they expire because space becomes an issue. Yeah, that, which makes total sense. Um, all right, I think that is downloaded. So all we need to do now is open up our file explorer and we'll go ahead and we will extract 
these guys out. And one really interesting thing that uh, you told me about the other day that I did not know about, we could just na rename this folder and that'll be what it's called inside of DCS. That's correct. Now, that's only for our skins. I think if you do that to something else, you could screw it up because okay. we made the Lua inside that way. So it, it would take that. So and anything oh, okay. you name that folder is what you'll call what, what you'll see it in in game. OK, well, that's good to know. So we can just rename it to uh, Fox Livery Test. And when we open up DCS, that's what it should be called. So we will install that into our DCS Save Games folder. Liveries FA18C Hornet, of course. We'll paste this folder in here, and we'll remember it's called Fox 3 Livery Test. And now I think it's time to open up DCS and take a look. Fox 3 Livery Test, and this is our skin, all generated and ready to go. So we can see very cool artwork from the base template uh, for this interesting and very unique camouflage. And then we can see our... Um, our decals have been added and they look very clear, very visible, definitely legible on both sides thanks to that mirroring option. And then we've also, of course, got our red Jolly Roger on the tail there. So let's go ahead and load her up in mission and take a look inside the game. Beautiful. And I just got word that we got the F-16 skins and we're going to start putting them out as well. So all the skins are going to be coming out in the next few weeks to a few months. Hopefully every single plane in a game. <laughs> that would be really cool. And it'd be an easy way to kind of batch edit, you know, even AI airplanes eventually, right? So that way yep. you could have, you know, multiple, um, you know, skins for your squadron's tankers or things like that, which would be pretty That's cool. Right. That's right. So we can see our skin here in game with all of the nice lighting effects and all of that. Pretty darn cool. And it's a really nice job in terms of the base artwork for the template itself. It looks really, really nice. And we can see all of the worn in details from our uh, wear options. And of course, our decals that we uploaded. Looks fantastic, yep. Yep. So one thing I did want to kind of address here is obviously this is starting off rather basic, right, Luck? Yeah. Yes, so we have a whole bunch of enhancements that we're working on. And uh, like a 3D preview is, you know, or at least a 2D preview first, and then maybe a 3D preview later. Um, right. Th that's coming. Uh, additional areas that we're going to try to do with the plane, like if you want a whole tail colored, or you want the inside of the tail finished, or gas tanks, or patches on your flight suit or helmets, those things right. are being planned. So we're working on those things. We'll be releasing them as, as time goes. and. And um, like I said, hopefully we'll have the more artists we get, the better we build, the faster we'll be able to do that stuff. Right. Um, and I think that what's really interesting about this is it's really cool right now to be able to kind of create a, you know, a real quick, fun little customized skin. But I think the, you know, what's potentially going to happen in the future with full tail art and changing, you know, patches off of the pilot or helmet art, things like that, or even you know, customizing the skin as a whole more intricately in the future, I think is really, really exciting. But of course, yeah. got to start somewhere, right? Exactly. And, you know, the other thing is this kind of stuff, you know, we'll be selling these and, and it'll help finance some of the work that has to go into that because there's a lot of work, a lot of code, and a lot of front money we had to put it into this. So hopefully right. that'll help future development in the future. Awesome. Well, I can't wait to see what it looks like in the future here. So. Thanks for showing me luck and giving me a tour of how this all works, both yesterday when we were doing some testing and today finally getting to see a really beautiful uh, skin generated in less than five minutes inside of DCS World. So that is really, really cool. So you're most welcome. Yeah, man. Well, um, I'm sure it'll be very successful and I think that people are really going to like this. And uh, I think that uh, the future is definitely bright for this awesome little program. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. All right. Well, uh, thanks for watching, guys, and uh, we'll see you in the next one. And uh, big thanks for luck for showing me again. So I uh, hope you guys like the video, and we'll see you in the next one.